Hi everyone, welcome back to Enough is Enough, Ace of Pyrite back with you again today and we're going to be continuing our verticality series. So as requested we're moving on to the coastline map today and I'm just going to get straight into it. I've taken a slightly different approach to it in that we're going to look specifically at attacking angles and then defending angles. So starting on the attacking side, uh, we're in with Book and the first one that you're going to come across quite frequently is a penthouse attack whereby they've reinforced the wall through to VIP. It's been banditted, um, I know it's not completely reinforced, it's, I've got Vortis in with me but he's in on his own so he can only do two of them. So basically you want to get yourself down into service entrance, if you don't have a Thatcher maybe he's been taken out, maybe your Twitch has used their five darts now with the reduced number. If you get yourself down into service entrance, shoot out above the wall that joins through to kitchen and that's going to open up that VIP wall. Now, not only is it useful for taking out the bandit batteries as I do here, but it's also worth considering that the spot behind the bed is used quite frequently as a, as a hiding spot and it is quite difficult to shift people out of there if you don't get that wall blown. So, another good option there just to take people out. Second attacking situation you've got, you've jumped into the kitchen, you've gone in through single window, the 99% of the time defenders, if they are moving back into that room to contest it, they will come through the door from the corridor. So what you can do, obviously you know you can't necessarily do this yourself, you have a teammate going and contest the room and then you'd have your book or your sledge upstairs, maybe an ash, put a hole in the floor just there behind the bookcase and you can get a perfect view from VIP down onto that door and again you're just gonna, even if you just put shots on people you're gonna weaken them but the chances are you're gonna get a headshot from that sort of angle. So next one, we've got the person hiding behind blue bar. Now this could just be to stop rotations or it could be in the unlikely event that you're at a blue bar objective. So if you get yourself upstairs, get into billiards and then you shoot out the corner of the room that's just behind the settee and again where those black tiles are that's the actual line of uh, line where you'd run up and down behind the bar um, but you can see I've got bandit down there and he's just peeking around that corner and again it's going to be an easy kill next up we've got you've dropped hatch now obviously this needs to be a bit of a teamwork element if you've already dropped hatch into bathroom for a penthouse assault and you find somebody wedged there in the back of theater taking that long line of sight maybe it's jaeger with his assault rifle i know that moving like this isn't an option you'd have to have a teammate maybe ash get down here and open it up but if you come into main lobby you just want to shoot along the line of that partition at the end of the reception desk and if you get rid of all of that above you're going to see bandit come into sight there and and it just opens up that back wall of theater so again quite a popular hiding spot just to take peeks through the door into bathroom or even just into penthouse towards hall of fame uh, so that's going to clear anybody out from there again nice and easy on a bomb it could be possible to take bandits out against that reinforced wall as well from there so a very tricky one now we're coming in from service entrance it's a kitchen objective you might see this on bomb as well you've got the mirror on that wall she's blown a hole in the soft wall to her side and she's peeking you you are gonna lose there nine times out of ten get yourself upstairs get into vip and you're just gonna take out this corner just inside the door from hall of fame now this is actually a dual purpose i'll show you both so first of all you're going to be able to deal with that mirror so you can see there if mirror doesn't realize you've taken that ceiling out she's going to remain you could get an easy pick um, alternatively you can just drop the mirror and just force her to rotate away from it now also if you turn yourself around you can see just in behind these metal shelves is a really popular area every time you've played kitchen objective you've probably seen somebody hiding in there to watch the door so again really good way of clearing them out Moving on to the defensive side now, I've gone with smoke. Now, it's fair to say that not all of these need to be sort of manned all the time, if you will. What I'm doing here is giving you an idea of some holes that you can put in, maybe in the preparation phase, and you might not play them through the entire round. Like here, you're watching for somebody and you see that they drop from hatch, the hatch gets blown. So how do you deal with that? It can be difficult in, in penthouse itself, you get into a straight gunfight. What you can do is get down into toilets, go into the toilet stall closest to the door, and show shoot out the ceiling above just to the right of that light and you can see the door frame there you can get a smoke up in there you can get impact grenades up in there um, you can even watch the hatch so the hatch has been blown you can see we're all the way up three floors there to the roof uh, you can get a good line of sight again if you just blow this out you could literally run down during the prep phase as smoke put a hole up there and just leave it 
and just leave it alone and then if the hatch gets dropped later in the round, the last 20-30 seconds, you've got a view onto people before they drop or if they're already in there, somebody rotates down here if you've got numbers to allow for that and as you can see, they are never going to get through that door and I can also tell you that if they're in ADS, they won't see that hole in the floor, their ADS actually covers it. So a very, very, very good and concealed location there. So another popular one is a kitchen objective. You've got somebody assaulting single window. How do you deal with it? Of course, you could use the sunrise bar peak. There's a couple of other options, but here's a good one. Get yourself up into VIP behind the bookcase. Now, this is absolutely terrible to see from down there. I almost feel bad for telling you this one. It's a little bit tricky because you've got to get the, the sort of ceiling plaster blown out from underneath, underneath that partition wall. But if you lie down, get that blown out, just have a look at that angle that you've got there now. That is absolutely savage. And Vortis was having a look inside there and I just I didn't tell him where I was. I asked him to try and spot me and it took him five or ten seconds. There's no way that anybody's going to attack you, you know, efficiently from there. You're going to win that almost every time. If you want a more direct approach um, to the window, again, you know, it's horses for courses. It depends what um, you're trying to achieve. Uh, maybe stopping a plant, this one might be, you know, slightly better. Personally, I favour the one behind the bookcase because I think it just puts you in a lot of cover, but you can blow out to the side of the settee. Now, the other good thing about being in here is obviously if you're in a kitchen objective, VIP is very popular for people to try and get a fuse in, um, to try and get a book up there. So it just gives the option of defending that room as well. So moving on, how do you defend main door? So I know that Vortis has just banged that door out there, but that's very unlikely. They're probably going to shoot it through from a distance and you're just going to find yourself in a 50-50 gunfight. And main door can be very popular, especially on a kitchen objective um, for people to get in or possibly a penthouse objective to get you know up the stairs there and up towards penthouse. So if you come in and you shoot out in front of that TV unit, you can get a good view. Um, you, can, you can actually shoot out further in either direction. If you shoot out further towards penthouse, house uh, you can get like a longer line of sight if you will uh, so it just gets you it's a bit more stable they don't move through so quickly then um, but yeah very good way of watching main door that one Next door that um, I'll recommend, and I think this might come as a surprise to people that I'm bothering to cover this one, office door. I've noticed over the last few weeks a lot more people using that office double door to get inside the building, particularly on a kitchen objective. Sunrise bar is now so heavily defended usually, people expect you to come through there, that I've found that people are coming through office, in through blue bar, and basically ended up in the same location, and it's actually a flank onto the people then defending sunrise. So just a good option to cover that door here. Again, Again, put this hole in during prep phase. If you see on the cams that they're coming towards office, send somebody up here, one of your roamers, you know, maybe your Ello, maybe your Vigil. Send them up here just to cover that angle. Again, you know, yeah, they're moving around quickly there and you might not get the kill. You might pop a lucky headshot. But even if you take half the health off, it's still 50 HP off the board for your team. So a very good location. Now, how many times have you seen this? You've been put in Sunrise as the defender to cover Sunrise and you get somebody coming in from there. Now, the difficult thing here is as a defender, you've likely got an SMG. They're on an assault rifle with an ACOG, so whilst you can get a good covered peek onto that door, it's still a very difficult angle to challenge. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is up into Hooker Bar. Sorry, not Bar, Hooker Lounge. You've got to be careful and you've got to be a bit lucky here. It depends how the debris falls. If you can get that corner blown out nicely, you sit down, just to the right of that first girder, you can get a view onto the single door. Now, people generally move through there slowly because they're expecting Sunrise to be defended, so they're in their ADS and they move in slowly. Again, it might only be a case of getting shots on them, it might be that you can get more. But, again, from Vortis's point of view, he could not see where I was peeking him from there. It is a really, really tight pixel peak angle, is that one. Now, they may also come in through the single window near on the blue bar side. That's another popular entrance. But basically, the single door or the single window are going to funnel people into this same location so this is a really powerful the next two that i'm going to show you this one and the next one are really powerful angles to hold so you've just got under the door in hooker you can see there that uh, anybody who moves in is going to come underneath you there but equally powerful but a little bit more predictable is a hole above the double door as i say it's a funnel is this room there is one double door out i know the walls are soft and somebody like an ash could blow the way through into blue bar if they knew that you're up there but the likelihood is that most people are 
going to try to push through this double door. They're going to hold a peek on this corner, looking into kitchen like Fortis is doing now. And you're just going to have all the time in the world. You can see how easy that would be. Um, so that's another good one. Just inside that door, blow it above, and you're going to be laughing. You watch that double door. And it just saves putting defenders in there and committing men that might get lost. So it's just another option. Like I say, put those in in prep phase. If you use them brilliant if you don't it doesn't matter none of them are giving the enemy any real advantage over you so that's all that we've got for you today i've got a clip playing that just shows a defensive um, vertical kill so it shows that it can be used on both sides just as effectively and hopefully you've seen something that you've enjoyed i've had a lot a lot of positive response about this verticality series a lot of people telling me that they've used the spots they've got aces they've got you know game winning kills round winning kills match winning kills so yeah really good so far i'm really enjoying doing it uh, give me a shout as to the map you might like to see next and i'll, I'll have a look at that shout out to Simo and to Ryan, um, two guys that I play with regularly who asked me to cover Coastline, so thanks for that guys, and to Vortis as always for his help. Thanks a lot for watching, hopefully you've seen something that's going to help you say enough is enough and stop being that easy kill. We'll see you next time.